Rapping with Rev. They call me Rev. I have no idea. <laughs> Welcome to Rapping with Rev. It's Reverend Rules, what it is. Sandy asks a question. Sandy Anderson, what has your music taught you about yourself, Rick, and how does it how does it represent you and who you are today? Uh, well, let me think. Uh, Sandy, Cooter, um, it's the truest form, I guess, the, like the gift of... God gave me the truest gift I've ever had. It was kind of a joke gift, I guess. But, uh, you know, he gave me the gift of songwriting but not being able to read or <laughs> spell with the crap. So, um, it has taught me to be true to your craft and it'll be true to you. Uh, never turn your back on your craft. It's, it's, uh, it's what I am. I mean, it's the truest form of me writing songs. You know me. So, you know that to be true. Um, that's it. I mean, uh, I don't know how to explain it any other way. Uh, my music is straight down the right, straight down the pipe. It's what I've seen or what I lived through or what he's lived through or somebody around me lived through, and that's what it is. That's the truest form of it, and uh, I like it. Colleen Bonnie Phelps asks, I know Blow, Blown Away is a special song to you. What other song has special meaning and why? Uh, the only other song, great question, Colleen. Um, the only other song I think would, would means the most to me right now would be uh, Sacred Circle because we have a tight knit group with us and uh, you know we try to keep it as friends and and as people we trust and uh, we're all all have to take over the world but uh, all pretty much all the songs mean something to me because it's something we've lived through can't I can't just write a song about love or partying or whatever, it's got to be something true to life, somebody's lived through, somebody's went through some bad stuff, and uh, you know, I just get up and, and bitch about it or preach about, you know, the shit that happened to me or somebody close to me, and uh, that's it. Thanks for the question. <laughs> Jamie Jill Major asks, at this point in your career, do you still work a day job? Jamie, yes ma'am, I still work, work every day, uh, on something. Uh, if I'm not writing or fixing something I tore up at my house or, or whatever, uh, I definitely work. I, I still weld every day. I still uh, do the things that pay the bills when you're not writing music and out on the road. Record deal, you live five years at a time, you do a good record, you don't work for five years. You do a bad record, you don't work for a year. <laughs> so, in between there, you're working back to doing another record. So, yeah, Great question. Thanks for asking. Shannon McQueen asks, who are your musical influences? Shannon, my musical influences go from Flatten Scruggs all the way up to Alice Cooper, Kiss, Van Halen, ACDC, you know, all the, all the things that are good. Uh, you know, Marshall Tucker, Wet Willie, Charlie Daniels, Evan Bishop, uh, you know, just good. Good is good, and uh, man, I, I love, I just love music in general, so... Uh, if it's good, it can be anything from the heaviest to the lightest to bluegrass, whatever. Uh, good is good, and if it's good, I'll, I'll give it a listen. So, thanks for asking. List Green asks, what's the song Kerosene about? List Green. Well, I hate to tell you this, but the song Kerosene is about... Uh, probably the worst drug addiction I ever went in. Basically, the whole Delta Voodoo record was me coming out of a, probably a five-year meth haze or whatever you want to call it, but uh, severely strung out on dope and was kicking dope and started writing. And uh, I'll refer to uh, to smoking Delta Voodoo record because as I was coming out, that was the best, probably the best writing. I jumped from here to here on songwriting. And uh, it just, uh, the whole album's pretty much everything about it is coming out of this, this, this haze I was in. And, and why it's called kerosene is when I used to smoke this shit, it turned brown like kerosene, like old kerosene where I grew up, anyway. And um, so I started calling it stuff like grease and kerosene, and people that were real close to me knew if I was talking about grease or kerosene, they knew I was probably fucked up on something. <laughs> so... Uh, basically, the song is me talking to me, uh, looking at where I was at that point and where I was before, 
and how I got there and how the hell I was going to get out and getting clean and getting clear headed was the way out and now I've been climbing and scratching and clawing and it's took this long since I recorded that record and the grind record took off and it's just kind of pulling me along so I'm just uh that's it I and mean, it was just a drug addiction and just coming out of it trying to figure out which way I was going and who I was and where I lost where I was and uh, that's it great question never told anybody that but you kicked his ass it's just the same way